This section takes a close look at Māori customary practice and the process of pōhiri as it would appear on the marae. It links this to the experiences of Māori and others as they approach tertiary education. Ako, we all learning. Ne. Ako, kia hau ko tōna kupuake, uh, the Māori value we're talking about in ako is utu. Ne. Utu has connotations of revenge since there was a movie called Utu. But then they met Utu. It's like ako. Ne. Uh, reciprocity, reciprocal relationships. He he here tote fanaunga tanga kiteutu. Ne. Uh, it's not all one way traffic. The kayako is in the kayako and the students aren't students, they're all students and they're all kayako. Koi na te ako. So in the marae, pohiri moro, heutu. Ne. Ka haere te karanga, ko fuka hokia mai te karanga. Heutu. Ne. Um, it's um, student-based learning, I suppose, the terminology we use today. Instead of uh, teacher-based, the teacher-focused, uh, someone standing and the other sitting and you delivering and them recording. It doesn't work anymore. Uh, it hasn't worked for a long time, I don't think. It is un Māori, if you like. No reira, ki te tiki nea tau, te pōhiri, te karanga, reciprocal. Whai kōrero, reciprocal. Koi nga teutu, no reira, ko teutu, te rā, Te rāhuatanga, the value of reciprocity is evident in the classroom, but we call it ako. He kia hau ko teutu tērā, i runga i te marae. Uh, ko tētahi atu, āhuatanga nui ki a tāua te Māori, uh, ko te manāki. Ne. Uh, most probably the underpinning value of all tikanga, uh, of all Māori activity is manāki. So what I've been talking about is all manāki based. Ne. Welcome, the word welcome means manāki. Ne. Um, feeling safe means manaki, and again, manaki is a two-way street. Heutu kairo tu ite manaki. Kite haere koe kite marae. Everyone thinks that manaki is the home people taking care and welcoming the visitors or the tutor um, taking care of the students. Eko manaki is a two-way street. I'll manaki you, and you manaki me back by paying attention, by listening, by participating. The word pōwhiri means to welcome. If you're on a marae, generally what happens is this. The group or manuhiri or visitors will generally gather outside the gateway. My mother's iwi tūhoi have this process outside of the marae, or the whare, what we like to call the whare tūpuna, the ancestral house. This process is not negotiable. And oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes it's gender specific. So what happens is a group, the visitors meet outside the gate, pretty much here, and assemble themselves and form themselves, basically. Then what happens is a kaikaranga, or a woman who comes out to call, will step out, she'll step forward, and she'll karanga, and she'll let out a call. And we, lay, well, we entitle her as a kaikaranga. And generally that person is female or a woman. Some iwi, um, like in the whānau, te tai tokero, uh, I've found that the men do their own kāranga. After the kāranga, the men who sit in front of the woman for protection purposes and other purposes, um, the, the men or one leader will step out and we designate that person as a kai kōrero. These people here, who are classified as tangata whenua, people of the land, they hold the integrity of this place, of this marae, of this space. So their kai kōrero, or their, um, one of their men, will step forward, their leaders, their rangatira, their chief, will step forward and welcome the visitors. Inside of that, a waiata will always follow 
in a waiata, everyone will stand and sing or have a waiata. And that generally, what, that, what everyone is saying by singing together is, apart from the story inside of the waiata or the song, what they are doing is that they're saying that we support whatever he has said. So the manuhiri, so the men sit before, in front of the woman, and the women sit at the back for protection purposes, they will reciprocate. There will be a designated kaikōrero, a male who will step forward and respond to what was said by the tangata whenua. The difference between the manuhiri and the tangata whenua um, oral tree or discussion is this, that they will have a kōrero and they will have a waiata, but they will also give a koha. which is the principle of reciprocity. So we've had that oratory process, sharing of something, a koha, a gift, and then the manuhiri generally come around here to have an intimate exchange with the tangata whenua, the people who are welcoming them. The intimate exchange is a hongi. Okay, rubbing of noses. Uh, some people just like to shake hands. You'll see many Māori kissing on the cheek. But at the end of the day, that is an, an exchange, a physical exchange. After that, people are generally led out to the dining room, which is a small whare or whatever out in the back, where they share food. Oftentimes the people or the manuhiri and the visitors standing outside the gate at 8.30 in the morning, perhaps it's in the middle of winter and it might be a little bit dark, uh, when I ask people about their experiences, normally they say, I say, oh, well, how did you feel? Often they're saying they were scared or it was scary. They were anxious. They felt a little bit reluctant to do anything. Some of them, you know, said they felt cold, felt a little bit uninformed. They didn't quite know what was going to happen, apprehensive. So there's a list of the feelings that come with the people who are visiting the marae inside of this process. Then when I ask them this, the question, oh, how did you feel when you went out after this process, you went out into the dining room to have a cup of tea? They felt warm. They felt full. Some of them expressed a richness from the experience. And some of them felt relieved or relief. Fundamentally, by laying this model over a customary practice and putting it inside of education, your student therefore becomes your manuhiri. So when we're using this process, what we um, would, would sh and should be asking is that, who is a kaikaranga? Who is the first point of contact in our tertiary institute that talks with the learner who's standing at the gate? Who is the kaikaranga? Oftentimes it's the people in registry, it might be the receptionist, it might be the tutor in a small PTE. But the question is, who is that person? What is their role? And how do they approach that role? The Pohiri model uh, is something that uh, is intrinsic in, in most uh, Māori, especially Māori for, for wānanga Māori people, students in a, in a Māori setting, in a Māori town. Uh, so if you were to take them out of that context and put them into the classroom context, they become a spectator rather than a participant because it's foreign, foreign to them. One, discuss with your colleagues any new insights you may have gained from this section. Two, 
How do you attend to the journey of safe passage your students take as they arrive and depart from your classroom and institution?